And welcome back to Van the Morning. I'm Andrew Hefner alongside Noah Oliver. And today we're going to be discussing more of that Knicks Nets trade. Although it happened a couple weeks ago, I think there's still a lot of repercussions that people haven't really discussed yet or we've seen. And especially now that free agency has started and the Knicks are starting to lose guys and the Nets are making uh, are re-signing guys like Nick Claxton. Um, I think that the future for both these teams is still up in the air for whether the Knicks are truly going to be contenders next year or um, if the Nets when their rebuild is really going to start. But um, what do you think about the Knicks? Do they really, truly have a chance next year? I mean, I think they have the material. They have the chemistry. But I don't know if they just have that one player. Jalen Brunson, he's proved he can perform. But I don't know if, as a team, they're all going to be able to pull it out. I think teams like Celtics can definitely be better. I think the Sixers, if they can stay healthy with Paul George and Embiid, they could definitely beat the Knicks because they have that player. They have Embiid who can drop 30. They don't like the Knicks. Don't have a guaranteed player that know that you know that's gonna shine every night. Yeah. And what about the Nets? Because everyone's saying that their rebuild is gonna kind of be starting soon. But actually, we're gonna need to pause that for a second because uh, we're getting breaking news uh, out of the NBA that the Knicks are adding another superstar in a trade with the Timberwolves, and the Knicks will trade for Cat in exchange for Mitchell Robinson, Deuce McBride, and four first round picks. Now, before I make my immediate reactions, they now have no first-round picks for the next, like, 12 years. So um, I think that that's going to be the first issue for them. So really, if they don't win in the next two years, they're not making it anywhere for the next, like, 20 years after that. Yeah, it's kind of just reminding me of a, a better Suns team, really. Um, Suns don't have a first-round pick till 2031. I think the Knicks are out probably now to, like, 2033. But I think Cat is going to influence them a bit but I don't know again he's not a player that's gonna lead a team he's not a player that's guaranteed like Luka Doncic you assume he's dropping 30 every night he's not a player that's gonna bring that to the Knicks yeah and I think for the Timberwolves it's definitely an interesting move because they're coming off one of their strongest seasons in a while and you can start seeing how that team is developing together uh, with Anthony Edwards and Cat and those guys, they're working together as a team. So trading away one of your best pieces pretty much immediately after going pretty deep in the playoffs isn't necessarily a good move, I think, for them. So I think this is going to have more to do with the Timberwolves going forward the next two years. And then if the Knicks fail next year, it's pretty much over. <laughs> but we're going to need to cut to commercial break real quick. When we come back, we're going to go down to a press conference um, in New York, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 